we've got a stall here with all our mining memorabilia. I was a former coal miner at Edgecroft Colliery. We've collected up quite a lot of old articles, artefacts to do with mining. We put them on show every year. We do talks to the general public uh, on, on, and schools and basically educate, pe educate people to we once had a mining industry in Salford. A lot of people they just wouldn't realise that 30 odd years ago we had a coal mine, a very productive coal mine. It's all gone now, except for our memories, and that's what we're keeping alive. Why is it important to keep the memories alive? Thank you for asking that. Well, if you don't remember your past, you can't go forward. Everybody's got memories, haven't they? Why do we remember kings and queens from the 15th century? Well, I didn't know them. They don't relate to me. But my mum and dad worked in mills and worked in coal mines. They relate to me. This is working class history. See, we get the ruling class history stuffed down our throats. 1066, what the hell does that mean to people? You know, a real big nonsense. No, you know, this is our working class lives. We're the people who built this country, made it what it is. So, we're proud of our history, celebrate it, and tell people why this country is so the way it is because of our labour. Knowledge is power, and we're trying to inform people about uh, past struggles uh, to inform current struggles. There's going to be a lot of strikes coming up soon. Yes. People need to know their history. Struggles have gone on in the past, and continue to go on and that to uh, understand your past and you know you understand your future and your present. So. Met a lot of friends here but also a lot of people who are saying that they're glad that they found out about us and this is their first time and we're hoping that it will bring members in to some of the societies that they have an interest in whether it's local history, genealogy, the cemeteries group St Thomas's Church, Irwell Valley Mining Project or any of the other 20 odd groups that are represented here. The local history community is diversified in one sense because we have so many interests and we're like a big family really. We can all talk to each other, score off each other and learn from each other.